This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. We're going to fish the shad school over here, see if we can get a bite. There we go. Pretty sure I got a shad on there. So now we're just going to wait. We're going to wait to see if something can find it. Seen a couple of fish out here chasing the shad already. Probably small bass, might be white bass. All right, let's make sure I have a shad on here. Yeah, good, good, got a shad. All right, let's see if we can get a bite. Holy cow, it's starting to rain. And it let up. I'm risking getting snagged out this way, but it's worth it because I haven't got a bite yet. All right, we're switching it up to this. This is a Selmo brand minnow. I think it's called a minnow. Let's see if we can get a bite on this. Wow, look at that thing flicker. And the only thing is it doesn't cast very far because it's so light. Good looking bait though. Good action. Hey, little large mouth. There we go. That's what's out here chasing these shad. Yeah, just a little guy. Quarter pounder with cheese, right? Got him on that little Selmo minnow though. That was sent in by a subscriber a while ago. RPF. Check out this cool little bass I got on the Selmo. Yeah, that's one. Let's let him go. What is going on, guys? I'm Rush. This is Little Miss Rowdy Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. Let's take a closer look kind of has a bend in it. It's not a straight jerk bait. It behaves like a jerk bait though. Good action too. Looks good. Totally works. Caught a fish despite the short casting because it's so small. Let's try it again. All right, I'm going to add a split shot. I don't know, about 10 inches above the bait just so I can get an extra few feet on the cast. Hopefully it still has its erratic action.
Oh, I don't know if that was a fish or a shad or what. Had something for a second there. Hey, second fish. Got a yellow bass here. Yeah, we got a little yellow bass here. One of the many fish that might be out here chasing shad and minnows. This little guy went for that Selmo minnow. That makes one largemouth bass and one yellow bass. Cool little fish. Hey everybody, Vance here from Fishing with Vance. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. That makes two on artificial, zero on live bait. Let's keep going. See if I can't get just one more before it's time to go. So yeah, when there are schools of shad back here in this creek, there are all sorts of fish that might be out here chasing them. Largemouth bass, white bass, yellow bass, stripers, drum, catfish, maybe even some more that I can't think of right now. Crappie. You just never know. Even that white heron over there is getting in on the action, jumping in the water, going for fish. Fish. What do we got? Another fish on. Oh! <laughs> got him. Check it out. Another largemouth bass. Just a little guy though. Even he's out here chasing minnows and shad. A little bit less than a quarter pounder. Fifth pounder with cheese here. Still, good looking fish. Went for that Selmo minnow. He got off the hook too and was flopping around right here in the shallow water. Reached down there and grabbed him. I'm gonna count it, fish number three. Last cast, here we go. Let's take one more quick look at this lure, Selmo S. Like I said, it was sent into the show by a subscriber, Randall Pink Floyd. Thank you very much. I was able to get a few fish today. What's up guys, this is Jordan from Dude Fish TV and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Well, that's all the time I have for now. I started out with a live shed that I caught and I couldn't get a bite. So I switched it up to that small Selmo S. Managed to catch three fish, two small largemouth bass and one yellow bass. Today, the artificial lure outfished live bait. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.